Have you ever wondered what it takes to do real engine dyno testing? Hi, I'm Lake, the Motor Oil Geek. If you're curious, hang out and we're going to show you the inside look into our process for dyno testing motor oil. Step one on a day of dyno testing, go to the gas station. So I've been coming to this same mobile station on the corner of Del Amo and Anza Avenue in Torrance, California and getting gas to go for the dyno wow, at least for over 15 years at this point. It's crazy. And every dyno test takes at least 15 gallons. So right now that's at 5.59 per gallon. Yeah, it adds up pretty quick. So one of the other cool tools we have here on the dyno is called the knockbox. It's a basically a microphone setup where you can listen to what's happening inside the engine. There's one sensor on the head, one sensor on the box. You can hear the valve train noise and you can hear the short block noise. So this channel is the short block. Probably hear that. That's just the pistons moving up and down, going over at top dead center, rocking at bottom dead center again. So we'll turn that down. This is the valve train noise. Valves opening and closing. That's what 2100 RPM sounds like. How cool is that? They got all the cool tools here. That's why I come here. That, and they're my best buddies too. That guy. Yeah. Lake's having just too You know, using Rotella as our flush oil is actually a perfect example of application dictating chemistry. Our application is we need to flush out all of the oil, all the esters and friction modifiers. We got to get that chemistry out of the engine. How are we going to do it? We're going to use that detergent dispersant chemistry from this diesel oil to help wash all of that away. Like we always say, application dictates chemistry and we're putting it to use. Not doing the proper flushing like we're doing here is one of the main reasons that a lot of the dyno oil tests you've seen aren't valid. If you're not doing this kind of flushing between each oil, you're not getting valid results. It's a lot of hard work to get it right. You got water pressure. You got oil pressure. Ignition. Load. Throttle. Fire in the hole. So a full case of oil works out perfect for doing this kind of testing. It gives you a single quart of oil to pour through the engine. And still leaves us with five quarts to fill the engine. One quart goes in the filter, four quarts go in the oil pan, and that's the perfect amount to run one of these tests. So where do you go after doing 
oil testing all day? Of course, you go to O'Reilly's to do what? Buy more oil. So you might have wondered, why come all the way to California to dyno test? I mean, there's how many dynos that I fly over on the way here? Well, the answer is right here at the beach. And no, it's not because we like the beach, which, which is nice. But the main reason we come here is because this is right at the ocean, at sea level. And the temperature, you know, the barometric pressure doesn't really change very much here. So having a really great dyno with all the modern controls and really, really great weather makes for an ideal test scenario. It's just the reason why we're here. It's hard, it's more expensive to do it this way, but we get better results that way. Good morning, time to start the day. Let's go for a run. All right, run is done, showered, ready to go to the shop. But first, two really important things. Breakfast burrito, coffee. Best part of coming to California, Pete's. So we have coffee and a breakfast burrito. Now we can go to work. Here's how it works. One thing we don't do during the day is take a lunch break. While the engine's running, eat an apple. So listen to the knock box while we make this dyno pool. So besides building racing engines and doing dyno testing, Shaver Specialty also makes vegetable cutters that are used by In-N-Out to make their world famous french fries. Yum. So we've talked about these special piston rings in this engine. Now this is one of the same kind of special piston rings, but we've actually used it in one of the 410 sprint car engines. This is a 0.7 millimeter tool steel variable hardness coated ring. In my opinion, this is the ultimate piston ring. It's super thin, but super strong and extremely wear resistant. That gold coating is the variable hardness down to the titanium nitride. Super, super durable, low friction, tool steel, best material for piston rings. And it's gas ported. It's the ultimate piston ring. It makes for a great test engine because it eliminates the variable of this wearing out and causing a thing. We can just measure camshaft wear, which is gonna come from the iron in the used oil analysis. So this is the shelf where we keep all the spare parts for the engine. The special cams and pistons and rings and all that, right here. Whew. It's a lot of work to do all this. Back and forth to do eight tests. That's eight trips to the gas station, eight flushes for 15 minutes, and that's just with the diesel oil in between. And then you got another 30 minute flush eight more times. Filter change, each of those, so that 16 oil filter changes. Ooh, you know, I actually love it. It's a lot of fun. Because you always learn something every time, you know. It's, even if you think you know what's gonna happen, there's always something that pops up where you learn a little bit something new. It's funny, we were talking today, 15 years of doing this, and we were like, okay, it was roughly $10,000 total cost to do all this for a week. We've done this about three or four times a year. So over 15 years, that's over a half a million, that's over $500,000 worth of testing. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> but I didn't have to pay for that at once, right? <laughs> I thank the guys at Total Seal, thank the guys at Driven and Joe Gibb, I guess now Speed Diagnostic for making all that possible. Everyone's helped chip in and pay for that. A lot of great information though. I'm happy we get to have this platform, the Motor Rookie, to be able to share it with you. Hope we find it 
educational, inspiring. Hopefully people just say, hey, tribology is cool. I want to get involved in tribology and they make a career change or they just say, hey, you know what? This is great information. I can make a decision for myself or don't have to worry about it, something anymore. Hopefully all this is helpful information that you, the viewer, can appreciate and put into action in your life and make your life better, easier, save some money, uh, reduce anxiety, all those things, right? So we'll keep it going. So at this point, it's time to get back to doing some oil analysis reports while the engine sits here and runs and we do this flush run and we've got four days, almost four days done. We've got two more oils to go and we'll be finished with this test. We'll maybe see you the next time.